All right, folks, so there's lots of videos out there that tell you how to build greenhouses, but uh, everyone I've watched tells you how to do it on level ground. They talk, you level your, your floor first, uh, and then you build on top of it. But we've got these planter boxes in here, and I don't know if you can tell real well, but it goes downhill, down there quite a bit. So, uh, and we're gonna build, take these two planter boxes that we've got, are gonna be on one side of the greenhouse, and we're going to build two more that are going to set here basically between where that board is and where the end of that uh, that would be even with the end of that other box down there and uh, I don't want to have to level that uh, that'd be a lot of work and it's just a greenhouse uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to if I just built it square with the boxes that are in there then my roof would be all cattywampus uh, wouldn't be level so um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a level roof on top of an unlevel garden plot greenhouse area and uh, so I'm going to show you how we're going to do that first thing I do is I've got a I've got a six foot level over here uh, and a laser pointer and I'm just going to figure out what the difference in height is between that end and this far end down over here, if you can see it through, uh, through the wife there, uh, and figure out what that difference in height is. So that's my first task. All right, so here's what we did with the level. We put it flat on this end, and we moved that brick up underneath of it until my bubble was level. And then we set the laser on top of that, turned it on, and then went down there and measured the height difference. So uh, it was 27 and 5 eighths increase in height from this end down to that end. Now, one thing I want to do uh, before I, I want to measure once, cut twice, or uh, measure twice, cut once, I should say. I want to make sure that that level is actually even with with what this sets at because it looks like this flares out towards this end a little bit so that would throw my measurements way off so I'm going to double check that first. Alright so I checked it and sure enough the laser beam is not centered um, with the casing of, uh, of this thing so I had to put it on a on a rag and make sure that uh, the rag was like double thickness at the back uh, and then not, no rag at the front and then um, I just put a tape measure in here and checked it at this end of the level to where it was like three-eighths of an inch off and then checked it again down here to where it was three-eighths of an inch off which told me it was then traveling even with the level and then I went down and measured it and uh, so we got new measurements and then I subtracted the, uh, the height of the level from my corner here which was three inches and then um, so I subtracted the three inches off of my my height difference from down there so um, now I know how much taller to make that wall uh, than this wall so now that we're ready to do that we'll go ahead and start cutting boards um, I'm gonna make um, the boards down there the right height make the boards down here the right height, probably go in on the computer and look up and find out how tall my boards need to be at different distances from one end or the other um, so that I can make sure that my roof is level all the way across um, as I do this project. All right, so I had a height difference of 27 inches, but I had a three inch height increase uh, because of my level in the uh, in the distance the laser was off the level that was three inches higher than my end board down there and then on this end I had a board that I had uh, measured off of because the laser wasn't exactly shooting straight down the length of this board it was off a little bit so I put a board on there so I could I could catch the laser beam and measure it so that meant I had a actual height difference from what I measured of the 27 inches of an inch and a half so that put me at 25 and a half inches. So 
I want my minimum wall height down there to be 60 inches high, which means this wall over here on this tall end has to be 85 and a half inches tall. So that's what we're going to cut boards for for the, the end wall, which is actually the, uh, the east facing wall. We build uh, boxes all the way around this thing. And I got another video out there where I show you how I build these boxes. So we're not doing this and this, but this video. But anyway, we got all these built. We got this connected in the middle. And uh, the wife came up with a great idea. I was getting ready to break out a geometry book and a calculator and calculate the height of these different poles as uh, we accounted for our terrain here. And she said, well, just put a string on it and then measure the, the string. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. We got a string up there. We checked it. And uh, indeed, it is level. And, uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, wherever I need to put a board, like right here, I'm just going to put the board there, mark it, and then uh, cut it. And that should get us close enough to, to be in level for this project. So anyway, now we got to go get the tractor, which is right there, and uh, start bringing some dirt up. We got some farmland right over that hill, and uh, we'll bring dirt up, fill these boxes up with topsoil, and then uh, the wife will top it off with gardening soil, potting soil, whatever she wants. Uh, but we'll get that done, and then our foundation for the greenhouse will be complete. All right, so we got dirt tractored in. And, uh, of course, we weren't able to reach these boxes over here with the tractor so much. So, Lori has been shoveling and smoothing stuff out, moving some dirt from these end boxes over to the middle ones. But we, uh, we got them filled up. And uh, we're ready to start the next step. Alright, so we got our two end walls built, uh, and of course this one is short, that one there's taller. I know it looks weird, but uh, again, per our string there, that's level, and uh, it's probably going to look even weirder once we get the, uh, the roof on there. But again, it's better than having to level out this piece of, of land here. Um, and it should work just fine. All right, so let me catch you up on where we're at and a few of the problems that we've run into. Uh, first thing is, of course, you'll notice this wall here. The studs are all different lengths, and this in this in stud over here is way crooked. And originally, I had built this wall, and I made the bottom and the top in equal length, which meant that this top. Uh, came out a lot further and this stud here was actually square with everything but the problem is is that since this is built on a hill uh, these boxes the ends if you look at at this this uh, board here if you if you put a level on that it's way crooked it, it leans this way and just to show you um, if I if I take and I, I set this to where this level is straight, you see how much gap we've got uh, between here and the wall, but it's, it's right up against the bottom. So I've got this huge uh, lean, which is caused by um, the fact that I'm building this on a hill. So I went ahead and I cut this short to where I could nail a board that was flush up against this end. And the reason I did that was in, that way I didn't have to correct for that 
that big gap. And I did the same thing over here. Um, we just nailed the board on the end of that, that planter, but that means it leans. Um, so again, if you look at, if you look at the level, you know, that right there is level, but, um, it leans. But I'm okay with that because I'm going to fix that in the door. You remember this, this box and this uh, planter box, um, we never intended these to be the base for a greenhouse. So they weren't lined up exactly perfect uh, either. So, uh, for example, if I take and I put my straight edge here up against this this wall, you can see it uh, it comes on the inside of that, which it should it should butt up against the outside. If I if I put the straight edge against the outside of that, you can see I've got a gap down here. All right, so they're not. They're not lined up this way, and they're on a hill. So, um, to kind of get the roof square, I'm gonna fix anything that's off here in this doorway area. And I had thought about making this all nice and square so that I could use a door uh, from the store. I noticed a lot of people use these doors that they bought from the store. But we decided we don't wanna do that because those doors it's hard to get those carts through or a wheelbarrow or anything like that. Uh, they're just too skinny. So we're going to build our own door anyway. And um, one of the other things is if I put, a, if I tried to square up a door on this and make it all level, when it opens, it would, it would open this way. And since the ground is on a, a hill, it would it would either scrape on one end or have a huge gap over here on this end and then be flat on that end so if i build the door and i actually tilt everything to where it's square with the tilt uh, of these side posts and, and the, the ends of the planters then when that door opens it's going to open and be level with the with the slope of the hill at least that's the plan so that's kind of where we're at we're getting ready to build this wall here and the way we're doing this we got our string up here on top and uh, we've measured these off in two foot increments which is where we're going to or two foot uh, increments where we're going to put our our studs and we've numbered them so like this is number three that's number two we do zero one two three four five and then six is the end one and we simply put that there at a uh, at number three and then we measure up to the string oops uh, oh there there we go and and then we just measure up to the string here and mark our measurement and then uh Lori writes down the different lengths of the studs and then we come back and we uh we build the wall we've got our trailer over here uh, as a building surface we build the wall and then lift it up set it in and uh, attach it with nails to the uh, planter boxes so that's kind of what we're how we're doing this sloped a sloped wall so the studs down here on this end are way longer than what the studs are over here on this end because these are way shorter so these are like 30 30 some inches and those are like maybe i don't know 52 inches or something a uh, big difference between the two all right folks we got all the walls up and uh, now it's time to start putting some trusses on here. We have these 16-foot uh, 2x4s uh, that we're going to use. And essentially, we're going to make one of these trusses here. Now, I went online and looked up some truss calculators, and none of them really do what it is that I need to do. So what I did was I laid out a truss, clamped it together, and we're going to take some measurements and do some markings and and uh, basically figure out what angles and cuts and lengths and stuff that we need. All right, so we got our uh, our rafter truss thing here made, and uh, we screwed some boards down here and here, and just kind of make a template to where we can uh, just put those boards on there. We got gussets cut, and um, we're just going to gusset these up and then we'll put them on. From here on out, it's really the same as everybody else's video on how to build a greenhouse. Um, the, the big part about building this on the hill was 
course we got short rafters on this end and then longer rafters on the other end and then if uh, you know this was a pretty even slope uh, going this way um, so you know these rafters are all the all the same length on this end um, well these are shorter but they're all the same length and then on the other end they're longer but they're all the same length if you were to if you had to build this on uh, an angle on a hill where uh, both sides were uh, your corner was down one that far corner was downhill and this and this corner here was uphill you'd have to do uh, the sides like that and then you'd also have to do the ends like that and basically just use that same string and a level trick uh, that we showed you uh, to get all four corners level and then just measure all your rafters or all your uh, all your studs to where they come up to that string and build your walls so that's kind of how you do it on a hill I think we're gonna stop videoing this again everybody else shows you how to build a greenhouse and uh, now that we've got a, a flat level uh, surface here to build our, our roof on it's the same as everybody else's